What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to GY6 Scooter Vlogs this morning or whatever time of the day that it might be for you but as the, the time of this recording it's uh, like maybe 7 a.m. in the morning of March 16th 2022 so here we are with the ice bear guys we got to go to the gas station because we are cruising on empty I just pulled over I was vlogging already just started vlogging down the road and uh, my GoPro just turned off so I was like man I know I just put in that full battery right now so anyhow we're starting over these GoPros are known to do that they'll shut off in the middle of your vlog that's why I always try to glance and see if my GoPro's lights uh, blinking right there because when I'm going too fast I really don't hear the beeping sound when it turns off but uh, let's see what kind of motorcycle this is it's a Harley Davidson the gas tank says I don't know if it really is. Really, to me, it didn't look like one. But, all right, I guess it's a Harley then. I was getting ready to say like a Honda, you know, like a Honda something, but it's a Harley, all right. At least the gas tank said so. So yeah, we're pretty much in the danger zone. I probably got like another eight to 10 miles with this here gas, but we'll go ahead and uh, go to the gas station right now. Let me see. Yeah, I bet I get like eight, 10 miles out of that. If it's not so much stop and go. Stop and go, probably five miles, six miles. I like this little town, but it's got a bad, bad uh, name for itself here. Just too many people uh, went the other route, did something negative with their life, if you know what I mean. I really don't like to mock anybody. I like to keep my um, channel clean, you know. But um, yeah, this town right here is more alive at nighttime than it is daytime, if you guys know what I mean. Highway Patrol coming off the off ramp. So we better uh, obey all laws right now. <laughs> I get all nervous when I get next to a cop. I don't know why. He's probably going to the gas station. That's where we'd be going to. Well, it looks like we're falling right behind him, guys. Well, I guess not. He's going straight. We're turning. So here we are at the Chevron. I like going to the Chevron, even though the gas prices are looking. So I do Supreme gas, five ninety nine for Supreme. So I'm going to put in five bucks right now and fill her up. She fills up with five bucks. Come on, buddy. He wants to sit there and take all day. Maybe he's waiting for somebody out of the store, but I'm going to park right here. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Let me go get this gas and pump one.
Uh, five on one, please. One? Yeah, five. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I smelled some good food. It's coming from right there. All right. Did I put that tin back in here? Yeah. I'm in that five. Let's see if she'll take all five, guys. So if the price is uh, for premium, five ninety nine a, a gallon. So let's hit premium, or supreme. Man, this nozzle always leaks all over your hand. There we go. Well, we're almost full, guys. We're almost there. Hey, it took all five. And right there at the very top. It, almost to the point where it's going to go up to the shaft right there, you know? Five bucks. Used to be four dollars. I used to be able to fill this thing up with four bucks. Meaning that the price increased and went up to five bucks now. For this scooter to be filled up. But yeah, right there's the gas. Right there, pretty much you could say it's full. It's not good to put the gas all the way up the... Leaving no air room or nothing, you know? I've done that a few times and I went down the road and my freaking scooter would die out. Well, you know, I, I rephrased that. So there's been times that I filled it up, it goes up the shaft part, and then for some reason it goes somewhere, it bubbles down, I'll fill it up again, it goes up, and then it starts going somewhere again, it goes back down. And when I did that one time, I was like, man, I, where's that gas going? It ain't coming down there. Is it flooding out my carburetor? So I started up, I went down the road, and boom, my scooter dies out. So I said, whatever, whatever happened, whatever I did right there, I'll never do it again. Because I sure don't want my scooter dying out on me. But yeah, it's not healthy to do that. So now I don't like my my, my rule is like uh, fill it up. Uh, if it starts going up the little shaft part, just stop. Don't try to leave it all the you know topped off like that. Everybody always says it's not good to fill it all the way up and leave a little air room. Scooter's happy guys, we're back at a full tank. We're still recording. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Lean with it, lean with it, yeah. I'll see you back on the road. I don't like keeping you guys at a stoplight. It's a real boring at stoplight. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Welcome back, you guys.
I would go straight, but going straight on that road, it turns into a real bumpy road at a high, everybody's going really fast. But for their scooter, I've lost so many uh, muffler, or not so many, at least two breakdowns on my muffler, on my exhaust system going straight any further. So as you see right here, it's not too bad. But you get up there, there's gonna be so many ripples in the road. And when you're doing like 45 or more, and you can't go any slower because traffic or traffic could be behind you like doing 55, you know. So I'm not going to head that route no more. It's not worth it because going down a ripply uh, road like that at 45 is just crucial. Well, it is getting close to school hours right now. Like school, almost school opens at I think at eight, eight thirty. So it's about seven fifteen, seven twenty, seven thirty right now. So I better be cautious around school areas. Normally, I just zip through because it it'd be too early. No schools open at no five in the morning, you know. But being that it's a little bit later and it is school hours about better be uh better slow down a little bit i should say pitman i wonder how many uh, schools we have here in our town we have pit man i can't even count them all there's like at least eight of them seven or eight Fair enough to say six. We got a lot of parks. They're like these little parks right here. We got a ton of these. See, there's a school right there. Just We just passed up a school and look at it right down the road. It's another school. We'll turn right right here. Might be closer to eight o'clock, like seven forty-five, maybe even eight. Look how this car is not going. Isn't it fair to say? Uh, aren't these like a stop and go? But I guess he's waiting for this lady to cross these children over. I was waiting for the green light. I don't know. It's an Uber. We got an Uber sticker. Oh, that's crazy. We got the green light now. Yeah. This guy in front of me, her, this woman in front of me, I don't know. But she's got me confused right now. Maybe just common courtesy because the kids. That's our next generation right there. I really think it's special, man, when kids are in school at that age, down the road, their education and everything they're learning today is gonna to determine what kind of work they have later on in life. So more power to you guys. Oh, my belt slipped. That's a trip. I went to get my scooter a little bit more gas right now and I felt my belt slip. Signs that I better check my belt. So when did I actually do a belt change? Let's see. At 1,500 kilometers I did a belt change. 
And I'll say again, excuse me for the ones in the comments that be saying, how come you're reading in kilometers? We're not in, uh, I forgot what kind of state you guys said, but I heard some people be tearing me up for talking kilometers, man. But the truth is, these scooters, look at miles per hour or kilometers. So I'm reading exactly what it's saying right here. It says 3,111 kilometers. To give you guys an accurate reading, I have to give you guys in kilometers. If you want to, for those that's arguing about that, you know, but uh, if I'm guessing how much, how, how many uh, miles is that in miles, I gotta pull out my phone, calculate it. You know, I ain't gonna go through all that, man. But yeah, 3,111 kilometers. And I did my belt at 1,500 kilometers. So yeah, it's time for an inspection. I would say expect your belt anything past 1,500 to 2,000 kilometers. Every time I get past the 1,500 mark to 2,000 kilometers, I start thinking how what shape is my belt in. Normally when I open it to check it out, I end up replacing it. From my experience on the 50cc, it seems like I always blew out belts, even good belts. I always blew them out like 1,500, 2,000 kilometers, so I'm going to try to do the same here with this 150cc. You would think this one will go through the belts a lot quicker. Alright guys, so as for this video, my battery's all dead. I guess we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe if so. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching GY6 Scooter Vlogs. Everybody have a good day now.